Secret Wallet set a high standard for quality and desirability and offer RFID technology which protects against unauthorized scanning of cards equipped with a contactless payment chip. But does it work? I'll do a quick real-world test of the RFID blocking. The Secret Mini Wallet Original Black. We see a naturally glossy finish with corrected grain leather. They're made in Holland and Italy from European cowhide. This semi-aniline leather gives you a thin protective top coat, making it easy to maintain. The contrasting grey stitching gives fantastic aesthetic detailing on the Sacred Mini Wallet. The exposed reverse side of the leather is super soft on the Sacred Wallet. Let's take a look at the outer storage solution. We have two external card pockets here. These pockets don't benefit from RFID protection, but are great for ID cards or similar. And here we have this plastic, I think, for securing your cash bills. Once you've got your cash in the sacred wallet, it is held securely. As I've previously demonstrated on an earlier video seen here, you can get rather a lot of cash in a sacred wallet, albeit with the wallet losing its slim profile. Secret have a couple of variants around this design. Here's a Secret Slim Wallet, virtually identical to the Mini Wallet, but without this fastener. There's also a Twin Wallet, which has two of these aluminium center compartments. As I've reviewed those previously, just see the links in the video description if you want to learn more about those. And please hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Thanks. The core part of the Secret Wallet is its aluminium card holder. You can buy this part only as a separate product, called the Secret Card Protector. The first version of this was a Red Dot Design International Award winner in 2010. Your contactless payment cards placed in this center compartment are protected from unwanted RFID and NFC skimming, which prevents people stealing your card's data. Said to carry six cards, but most bank cards have embossed writing, so I find four are a more comfortable fit and allow proper operation of the patented mechanism. The push lever ejects cards in a fan-like fashion, allowing them to be selected easily. The manufacturers say that the mechanism can be operated 250,000 times without any problem. Don't be tempted by cheap overseas alternatives and copies. They rattle and are made from flimsy materials and really just don't work well. So what about the RFID protection? Here's a mock-up bank card I've made with an NFC sticker attached. As a control, let's first test this in a regular, non-RFID protected wallet. And as you can see, the app on my phone is able to detect the card. So let's try the RFID protected central compartments. And as you can see, we have no chance of detecting the card now. By the way, a real bank card has a built-in antenna around its perimeter and is a lot easier to scan. The card I've made only bounces back a weak signal, which is why we have to get so close.